Hello YouTube, happy Halloween. Today is October 31st, 2018. Just wanted to wish everybody a happy Halloween. Hope your breeding season is off to a good start. Tomorrow we start pairing. Actually, I started pairing a few females that didn't go last year. So, uh, got some males in. I got three, well actually one Mojave girl, big fat female never went never laid for me also I have two Pastavi girls never laid for me so I've been breeding those I also have a lesser female she never went as well so I started breeding them a little bit early so today I wanted to talk to you guys about breeding rodents do you guys breed your own rodents or do you buy frozen thought or do you have a local supplier that supplies you with live rodents do you feed rats or mice that's what I want to talk to you guys about today so hang on to your hats okay guys here I am in my rodent room basically it's an enclosed patio there's no way they could ever get out of here if they ever get out of their tubs so I wanted to just show you guys the way I breed my rodents. So we'll start off over here. Come over here and basically I've got these big mixing tubs. You buy them at Home Depot. I got the automatic waters. I fill those up every week. And basically as you can see I have the brass nipples. There's one over here. And over on this side is where I keep the food. You open it up. What I do is I put 12 to 15 females with one or two males and their only objective or only job is to get pregnant. Every week when I clean the rodents I go through and I pick out the females that are pregnant. So just to show you guys, there you go, there you go. So this is something that it's it's just a cycle. They get pregnant, they raise their babies, I pull their babies, I grow up their babies, I rest the females for a week, then back to breeding again, and it's just an ongoing cycle. So I just wanted to share this with you guys so you can see the way I breed my rodents. There you go. Okay, so very easy, they all have water. I try to leave some wood on top so they have something to chew on. Um, also I feed them this lab rat pellet. And then when I can, I give them a little mixture of uh, this stuff right here. Which basically it's a cracked corn, they use it for roosters. But I give it to my babies and it boy helps them grow out so much faster. So, after they're pregnant, I pull them out, I put them in here. See all the babies? Usually, it's two females to a tub. Now, these are the smaller tubs from Home Depot. And as you can see, loaded there. And there's another mom. So, it looks like all the babies are together and they're just sharing, feeding the babies. These females are females that I pulled out pulled away from their babies and I give them one week's rest. The reason I do that is to dry them up if they have any milk in them. There's another mom by herself. Don't have another one to put in there. There's another bunch of babies with two moms. Over here what I've done, this rack is turned sideways where these over here are turned long way so the ones that are sideways what I've decided to do is I put this partition in the middle as you can see and that way they're all alone with their babies you can see a bunch there and back over in the back there you could see see some more okay so very simple I don't know what's wrong with this thing it got stuck on me somehow. I'll fix it later. Here's another one. You can see. She's pregnant. Okay. Another one. 
babies, another one, baby, another one, she just laid, as you can see, over here, this is my original rack, it's about 10 years old, and again, they're sideways, so I put the partition, you can see them on there, I'm on there, again, there's a clutch of babies with the mom. Another clutch of babies back there with the mom. They do much better this way. It's a pregnant female, pregnant female. Um, then if you put them together, sometimes they fight for the babies. They'll be playing tug of war with the babies. And it's just not good. There's nothing in there. Nothing in there. Nothing in there. So, once the babies start crawling around they call them crawlers then what I do is I put them all together I'll put about three or four females in with all their babies just like you see here so it'll be like three females four females with all their little babies and it's like a big nursery so basically they all feed and grow them out there's two females in there with a bunch of babies there's again some females in there and again there's another nursery right here going on a bunch of babies nothing in there and there's another nursery right here as you can see babies galore once the babies reach this size well then I'll separate the babies I'll give the moms one week rest Okay, and then I grow out the babies. Usually I feed them about this size, which are considered small to medium. Okay, so every couple of months I keep a handful of females and I rotate them. Basically, I grow out females, maybe about 20 females every couple of months. Because your females, they get worn out. Your breeding females get worn out. The males, they seem to be just fine for a long, long time. I've got huge males that keep breeding and breeding. The females, after a while, maybe about six months, eight months, they're pretty much done. They're tired. So it's just the cycle, okay? Again, I got automatic waters. There's a turtle that never moves. Over here, I just started breeding these mices little mice because I've got so many hatchlings and I've been feeding them rats and they can't really afford it so I decided that I'm gonna start a little mice colony seem to be doing very well this is a tandem 10 tub rack that I built slides very nice very easy you can see there's a T here and it rides right along there put a little 45 just to make it easier to put the tubs in and out got the automatic waters same thing with this this is just a five high rack okay built all these myself this one I actually bought that mouse rack so just to give you guys an idea of how I do it here at JRG Reptiles. If you guys have any questions, any comments, leave them down below. So again, I just wanted to wish everybody a uh, happy Halloween. Be safe out there. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. And until the next video, you guys have a great night. God bless.